Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Today we are going over the Custom Modules mod. And uh, this one is pretty interesting. So it adds a whole ton of new modules, different ways to make modules, different ways to mix together modules to get different effects. It's, um, it's very cool. So first off, um, we'll look at the tech and uh, there's several things you can do here. So there's uh, like, the module research, and then there's speed module prototype, ecological module, and productivity module. And then, so those will unlock the very basic versions. And then these guys will unlock these machines. And uh, then I imagine at this point, um, it would just unlock like all the rest of these. Okay, like if we just search module, um, you know, that this is all the research. Um, so you have these three machines, and this is what you make these modules in. So you have a module symbol of one, which is huge, by the way. And this can only do the very basic ones, okay? And it has a speed of one. Then you have a module assembler of two, which can make the basic ones as well, um, but also more advanced ones, and it has a speed of 1.25. And then you have this last one, which has a speed of 1.5 and can do all the modules, okay? Now you saw all the modules in there. So you go here, there's an entire modules tab. Now this may seem kind of like Bob's modules or something. I personally, from what I've seen, like it a bit better because um, they don't seem like insanely overpowered. Uh, you know, I haven't obviously tested them and everything, uh, but they're really interesting how they can combine. So from the beginning here, I'm not gonna go over every single one of these because this would take forever. There's like 50 different ones. So you guys can check out all the different combinations, but uh, we'll start here at the, the beginning. So your productivity module prototype. This is just your, your lowest end productivity module. And this is, you know, pretty similar to a normal one. Uh, productivity plus 3%. I'm pretty sure vanilla level one is plus 4%. Um, energy consumption is increased. Speed is decreased. Pollution is increased. Um, then we have an ecological module, which is pretty much like an efficiency effective uh, effectivity module, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then we have the speed module, okay? Now, this does replace vanilla modules, okay? So if you can't find your vanilla modules, it's because they're gone, this replaces it. So those are your basic versions, but then this, as you go through this, this is where it starts getting really interesting. What this mod allows you to do is obviously make higher levels of modules than you normally would be able to in vanilla, but it also allows you to combine different types into one module to get multiple effects. Um, but the reason I say these don't seem super overpowered um, is one, because they're just not, you know, it's not like 500% productivity for one module, but also these get really expensive. And I mean like insanely expensive. So, you know, this these guys are all five electronic circuits and three advanced circuits. This next level productivity module, R, you can see this one was R0. Uh, this one requires two advanced circuits, two processing units, and four of the previous. So this guy is uh, a bit better, productivity plus 12%, you know, which is already better than the best vanilla module, but it's quite expensive. Um, it's actually, well, no, it's actually about the same as a vanilla module. Uh, but so then speed reduced, then you have a purification module. Okay, so this one is kind of like a, a different version of your productivity. You can see here that it lowers speed, increases energy consumption, and does that. Um, not nearly as much though. And it also gives you a little bit of productivity and it also reduces pollution a little bit instead of increasing pollution. Okay, so this, and, and this is combining the productivity and ecological modules together. So this is where you can start mixing these to get different effects. And then you have your ecological module level two essentially. And then you have your effectivity module, which is speed increase and a pollution decrease, and then an energy consumption increase. Then you have your normal speed module, uh, speed plus 60%, uh, and then you have your refining module, uh, you know, which is energy consumption up, speed increase, pollution increase, and productivity increase. So this one's gonna give you essentially speed and productivity within the same module. Okay, and then you can just go down. You know, you have your ultra productivity module, which is, and this is where it gets expensive, right? Sure, this gives you 24% productivity. Um, it decreases speed by 50%, huge energy consumption, big pollution increase. But this takes 32 red circuits, 16 processing units, and eight of, of these, and don't forget what these took, just to make one of these. 
okay? And then you have your productivity purification module, which is, you know, four, four, and 32 and 16. Um, and this one's gonna give you, uh, you know, just kind of a little lesser effect, um, but also lesser de uh, deficits. And then you have your ultra purifying module, which decreases energy consumption a ton, decreases speed, decreases pollution, and gives you a little productivity, so on and so forth, where you can just start mixing these. So here's a fast effectivity module, where this uh, lowers pollution, but also increases speed. You know, and, and that's like, well, that's really good, but you know, these things ain't cheap. Uh, and you can just mix all these together. So I'm not gonna go through every one, but if we're just looking, like here's a ultra productive refining module, Huge energy consumption, huge pollution increase, but this gives you 30% productivity um, and a little bit of speed decrease. Um, but it takes 300 circuits, two nuclear fuel, 20 productivity R's, and five uh, productive refining modules. Um, if we come like all the way down to here, um, you can get a 72% speed increase and a 12% productivity increase. Um, but again, you can look at the cost. Uh, and then like, these guys are kind of nuts. Um, so these guys can give you a speed increase as well as a productivity increase without any any uh, any negative effects. Okay, and these all these here give all the same effect. They're just different ways to make it. Um, so I mean, these are expensive. I mean, you can look at the raw cost there and such. You know, again, 300 circuits, two nuclear fuel, 20 effectivity module Cs, and five productivity module RCs. Um, but this gives you speed and productivity with no deficit whatsoever. Um, so I just think this is really cool. If you guys like want to mess more with modules and think that, you know, you want more things you can do with them, um, than the vanilla ones give, uh, I would definitely recommend this. It seems super cool. I already have a couple ideas how I would want to use it, like in a playthrough I might do in the future. Um, I just think like it's cool being able to combine them to get modules with different effects and have, you know, like pollution reducing modules, um, like, like directly, um, as well as, you know, different combinations. It's really cool. So there you go, guys. That's the mod. Check it out if you're interested. Link below, as always, to the mod portal page where you can check it out. And uh, any questions, comments, leave below, as always. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.